so let me show you what's in my bag. So look, this is a tripod. It's the Sirui and it's super lightweight and it comes in this little bag and it's all carbon fiber. Check out how small this thing is. So instead of getting a tabletop one, this can almost work. It's inverted too, right? Look how cool that thing is. And then, then you can invert this thing and flip it upside down and all that stuff. Pretty cool. So that's my carbon fiber tripod. It fits in here. My main camera, the GH4, shoots 4K internally. That gives me an ability to crop in later. On it, you can see it here. It's a Metabone Super Speed Booster XL. What that allows me to do first, it allows me to attach Canon glass, which we have a lot of, so it has the EF adapter. And it increases the amount of light that can come through. So this is a Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter zoom lens and it's f2.8 but with the super speed booster it changes it from 2.8 to i think 2.1 or or just right below 2. what the speed booster allows you to do is it reduces the crop factor to something that's more reasonable like one one to one two something like that i got a lot of red rock micro stuff so i'm going to assemble it for you right before your eyes really fast push this out here so here are all the parts and pieces the the basis of it is this little mount right here this red rock micro mount okay it's got a quick release plate so I, all i do is do this and if you push this thing in, it releases this blue thing. So it's in, and I'm gonna put this one in. All right, so now they're both in. And if I have a heavy lens, I put this thing in. This is your lens support. Let me flip it around this way. The reason why I knew it was on backwards is because of this. The ability to adjust the height with this thumb screw here. So if I take this, I can put my camera on it now. Line up the hole here if I can. Pop this sucker in. This is my front handle now, okay? So now I can hold the camera and if I wanted to, I can put this on the hot shoe, but I'm gonna add my mic usually on top right there. So this allows me to do really low angle shots. You can slip that sucker in there. And now this is the basis of what I need to do. So if I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna do handheld. I'm gonna hold this tight and try and shoot it like that. But obviously that doesn't allow me to see what I'm shooting. So I have this other thing, this little pad which is a cheese plate attached to this rail mount system, right? Pop this sucker in. So now I can put it on my shoulder like this. Now I can flip up the screen. So there you are. So now I got my screen here and I can hold it like this. And so you want three points of contact. So how many do you see here? You see one, one here, and one on my shoulder. I still have a free hand to focus or zoom if I want, right? Or I can use it to add another level of stabilization key to shooting handheld stuff and getting it to look good is to hold it tighter to your body. The farther out you are, look how much my camera's moving. So I wanna have my elbows bent and kind of tuck tight into my body and I can get really steady footage so it doesn't look like it's amateur hour. I have the small HD monitor. Attach it on top, I can put on my magic arm and put it out here if I wanted to so I can see it a little bit better. Last but not least, a couple little toys here. First of all, the road link. Pretty inexpensive, I think this is about 400 bucks. It's uh, cheaper than the Sennheiser uh, lavaliers that we use. It's plastic, but for the money and how easy it is to use, it's great. Mount this on the cold shoe or hot shoe here. Put this part, this end, onto, into the mic, which is here. And then I can use the lavalier on that part. I have an extra lens in here. This is the SLR Magic Prime, Hyper Prime. This thing's freaking awesome. It's a 25 millimeter lens T.95, which is an f-stop equivalent of about 0.95, but it's measured in t-stops. What's really cool about this lens, first of all, it's all metal. This thing is a beast. It has already geared um, rings for putting on a, a follow focus. And it has also a de-clicked f-stop thing, so you can smoothly transition from f or T.95 all the way up to uh, T16. Batteries here, batteries up here, audio cables, extra video cards, memory cards. Here's something that I do. I put a little piece of red tape on each one, meaning that these cards are ready to go. There's nothing on them. So when I go and expose them, I pull the red tape off. It means do not use them anymore. That way my, my cards don't get mixed up and you accidentally, heaven forbid, override a card you've already exposed. The sunshade to block out the sunlight so you can see because it's very difficult to see outside. Batteries, chargers, and what's on this side. Well, gaffer's tape, never go uh, anywhere without it. This is your extra pair of hands, especially when you're shooting on a budget. It's just you, you're gonna need something like that. And then, of course, I haven't even used this thing, but it's my uh, lens cleaning kit. So a little duster, blower thing, and 
couple of lens things in case you get a good nice uh, fingerprint on your lens doesn't ruin your day and you're not going to use your shirt to clean off your lens which you should never do that's all i got for you in my cinema bags and what right. i use yes i have a question hold on a second yes okay mm-hmm raw steel the dark finish